Good morning, how are you today? Good. Good to see you. Ray Roberts Lake State Park is really hard to describe to people because it's just so vast. We have over 6,600 acres of parkland spread out over nine different park units scattered around the lake and down the river. And there's so many different ways for people to connect with their own adventure here. Bumpy? You can feel her belly. It's a little less bumpy. Smooth, huh? Ray Roberts is still my favorite. <laughs> it definitely appeals to a lot of different user groups. We have our equestrian setup. We have lots of different trails. We have the lake where you can spend the whole day just dipping in the water at the swim beach, or you can take a boat out. So lots of different opportunities here, and it's what I've always considered home, so I love it. Being right here, close to the Metroplex of Dallas and Fort Worth, um, it's really popular because people are constantly trying to escape the concrete jungle and get out and uh, experience nature. All right, there's your sticker for the windshield. You have a wonderful day. We'll see ya. Bye. Yes, the frisbee that I like. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> what, Daddy? I am Marcus Hatcher. We need to set our tent up. The father of three from Fort Worth, Texas. The old tent. Can I have that? Yeah, you hold this. All right, Marty. I'm Martina Hatcher, and we are camping at Lake Ray Roberts. It is a family adventure. We've got our three kids camping in a tent. <laughs> you want to give it a couple whacks? All right. My oldest son is four and a half. His name is Lazarus. Uh. Middle child is Tears Up. She turned three at the end of August. The youngest is Bronson. Bronson. He is 15 months old and... Eating some more dirt. He loves dirt. He will roll in the dirt, bathe in it, heat it sometimes. Spit it out. He's, <laughs> he's all about dirt. <laughs> Stew? Stew. Yeah, yeah mud stew. Oh. I always try not to bring a lot of toys for my kids. That way they're just forced to go find sticks and rocks and dirt and stuff. There's something great about, you know, getting your hands dirty. <gasps> Where's Bronson? Our kids are always wanting to go outside even when they're at home, so. They're just here in their element, and uh, I think they enjoy it. This one to that one. I think that might work. It is, I think, a problem in society today where kids, yeah. they spend a little too much time indoors, too much time on technology. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think it's important to kind of, you know, push them out sometimes to stretch them a little bit. Little monkey girl. <laughs> this is an awesome park, so we just kind of try to give them a little freedom. You know, what you gain from being out in Mother Nature is priceless. It's a beautiful day. Doing a little bit of black bass fishing. It's a real peaceful, cool morning. A lot of cloud in the sky. Gotta love it. This is kind of where I come to fish most of the time. My first fishing memories were here with my dad. I kind of learned how to catch a bass at this lake just through trial and error and a whole lot of frustration and also a whole lot of joy. There's one. That's a good one too. Oh, what a jump. All right, let me get this. Uh... Yeah, looks like you might have swallowed my worm, but yeah, it's a nice largemouth bass. Mm. 
fishing's good for your mental health. Being next to water, I think, has been proven to improve mental health and emotional health. It's just kind of nice to get by some nice, calm water. Even when it's not so calm out here, it's still really pretty. It's a pretty big lake with a lot of really good public access too. The beach front here is actually really nice and big. You can walk in there, you can't swim though. We went down just to go get our toes wet. We weren't even prepared for swimming. We did not pack our swim things because I thought, you know, the lake's gonna be too cold. Hey, hey slow down, dude. You're getting, you're getting super soaked. You know, the kid didn't care at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, joke was on us because our kids went in anyway. Proceeded to uh, get completely soaked and start swimming in the water. So that was tons of fun. I'm gonna take y'all's picture. Just stand there next to your mom. Three, two, one, smile. It's a terrible photo. <laughs> they went pretty hard at the waterfront and they've been pretty busy all afternoon. Okay. Yeah, hang on. It's ready to go. <laughs> Outdoors is for all ages, I guess. We can ride our bikes to the park. My husband and I really feel like invigorated just being outdoors. So we're hoping our kids uh, feel the same way. <laughs> we're at Lake Ray Roberts and we're about to ride a couple of trails. They're very diverse trails at Ray Roberts Lake. On the south side, yeah, there's some more technical trails, uh, a lot of drops, a lot of chunky sections. Uh, and then you have uh, some fast flowy sections up on the north side at Johnson Branch. Some of the advantages of coming to the state park is the facilities and then also the trails are a little bit more technical. It's a little bit different style of riding than what we see at some of the other Dorba trails. Dorba is the Dallas Off-Road Bike Association. It's completely volunteer work. Members maintain the trails, keep it safe, keep them rideable. At this trail in particular, there are some pretty big rock gardens. It's very tight and twisty, so you've got a lot of cornering and a lot of different technical parts to it. The great thing about Ray Roberts, it removes you from the city life. You're out in the elements. You look ahead, you keep moving forward, you do a puzzle of uh, the technical climbs and the technical sections for the drops and really get to enjoy the environment. Hey, slow down. Mama. That is mama, we're going with her. Slow down, watch where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> They will never admit it to you, but yes, the kids are already tired. <laughs> I'm hoping, you know, when the sun goes down, we can start winding them down for an early bedtime because I definitely need it. <laughs> I'm going to start cooking. Yeah. My husband is usually the cook because I'm like, this is a vacation, so <laughs> he gets to cook most of the meals. Seems like a lot of meat. <laughs> She's got the harder job of manning the kiddos. What do we call this, Marty? It's not quite taco soup. Daddy? <laughs> Is it spicy? Maybe I should have tried it. <laughs> you just served it right up. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like we have possum over here. Good eye. <laughs> we got some more, it looks like egret probably walking through here. Oh yeah, look at that. I 
think there's like a, a hurdle for a lot of people. They assume that they need a bunch of gear and all this stuff, but it's like, you know, camping can be whatever you want it to be, you know, from, you know, sleeping on the ground with a blanket all the way up to, you know, five-star glamping in a, in a big trailer. You want you wanna just a normal marshmallow to start? Well, this is pretty cool. It's, it seems to be working. When I was a kid, my parents did take me camping often, but we definitely did not have, you know, all the camping gear and all the nice stuff. It was basically just scrape together whatever you had in the house and, you know, take it with you. We did skip naps today. Getting grouchy over here. So. Uh, they've been on pretty good behavior. We'll probably be getting an early start tomorrow. Yeah. We do our best. I think we are a pretty good team. Everybody's finally asleep. Good morning. It's a good boy. Yeah. Good boy. First, we get the curry comb and brush her off. Brush all the sand and debris off. And then I brush her tail and mane. She doesn't mind it. Gets it all ready for the saddle. Gazelle loves to go on an adventure. When we put the saddle on, she knows we're gonna hit the trail. And she loves to go. There you go, good girl. It's my passion. I begged for a horse since I was three years old. Better late than never, I finally got it. Every time I get in the saddle and ride out here, I just love every second of it. We're gonna have a fun day. Glad you all made it for today. We're gonna have a great ride. We're gonna go south down towards the dam. Okay. All righty. It's just good for your whole body and soul. Good girl. I forget about all the stress of work, our home, our family, and I'm out here just enjoying every minute. It fills me up. You know, when I'm out here, I go home and I have a smile on my face. This is really cool through the pines here. I love the hiking trails. We come over here almost every day because we walk our dogs literally every morning. Rain, sunshine, every, even in snow, we do it. It's just what we do. We moved to the area. Part of the reason was the state park. We, we live across the street from the state park. I mean, you just pick your activity that's available out here. Lost Pines would be one of my favorite trails because it's got a lot of deep, almost sand-like uh, trail to it. but. There isn't one that's not a favorite. The dogs go on a sniffari because there's so many scents out here. Look, you see the deer? Yeah, he's over there. I've been scouting out a couple of trails on the way in to the campsite, so yeah, we'll probably do a morning walk. The Lost Pines Trail. Woo!
This is a cool little trail. Oh, look at that tree. <laughs> look how all the branches are just coming out of it. Oh, just how big the tree is. It is absolutely beautiful out here right now. <laughs> Morning, guys. Look at that cute doggy. Dog. <laughs> no, actually, we're going this way. <laughs> Daddy's ears are soft. Can I have my glasses back? I don't know where to go without my glasses. Oh, the sun, we're melting. <laughs> oh, look, someone's riding a horse. We love to come out to these trails because it's just a beautiful, peaceful place to be. It just feeds my soul. Uh, I love coming out here. It's like comfort food. It's, it's like, uh, you need that peace. You need that quiet. The trails are beautifully maintained by the trail association out there. Sometimes I'll ride these trails and I'll go in the piney area where it's quiet and soft and you'll come up on a deer laying in those pines and it's like, ah, you can breathe. You know, the lake's huge. Even the drive-in was really cool, getting to drive um, on the edge of the lake, and the kids are, you know, like, they're like, look, it's the ocean. <laughs> and of course, we're like, yes, yes it is. We drove all the way to the ocean. Put your hand out. <laughs> we're gonna use these to see if we can catch a fish. <laughs> um, it was the first time for my little ones. I think Lazarus is second time ever fishing. You take a leap. <laughs> All right, here we go, ready? You want a worm? Uh, no. That's what we're having for dinner. Oh look, somebody's got their boat. I just love this area. Hang on, we got a fish. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Here we go. Ray Roberts, your largemouth bass, right here. See you later, bud. Nice cast, Lazarus. You'll know if you catch one, you gotta hold on to your reel tight because fish are pretty strong. Didn't catch anything, but we still had a lot of fun. After that, ooh, cool. We got to go to the Nature Center, which was a really cool place. It says American Bison. We have a vendetta against raccoons. They stole our tortillas the last time we oh, went camping. Yeah, they definitely <laughs> They had a bunch of different animal pelts and skeletons and some fake poop, <laughs> which my oldest son really thought was cool. <laughs> really cool place. The kids were able to touch all of the different pelts. What is that, Bronson? The banana. A banana? <laughs> you say banana. <laughs> very informative and friendly staff there. King Snakes by Nature are very calm going. So anyone that's nervous, I just like to let you know that this is a snake I would trust to do this with. <laughs> so we don't have to worry about Miss Cleo. Do you have a question? Do they get captured? So she was captive bred and then someone gave her to us so that we could use her for all these educational programs. Good question. My kids had a really great time learning about snakes, about the different venomous and non-venomous snakes that are here in Texas. You wanna touch her? Cute. And they got to touch a couple of snakes. Kids got to the, touch a bunch of different live snakes they had. <laughs> snaky? She feels snaky. <laughs> Tons of fun there. 
This is the end. Time to clean up camp, head on home. Kids are going to go play at the park. <laughs> Sometimes they get in the way. <laughs> this park's pretty cool. The playgrounds are really good. The beach is really awesome. There's something about getting out in nature. Being outside and being in the woods and being on two wheels, it's just, it's peaceful. And after the ride today, I'm gonna just hang out and enjoy the day. Woo! Good job, guys. You never know what you're gonna hook into out here. The Texas State Parks are really uh, a kind of a treasure in, in my mind. Nice spot. Take a drink. End the day's ride. It's all about connecting to this place. We need nature. Nature is good for us. We like to try to keep this place as wild as possible, that people are still getting those wild experiences. We have the lake. We have the trail system. We have some beautiful scenic overlook areas. There's just so much to experience out here. I know there's a whole other side to this park that we didn't even get to go to at all, so we'll definitely be back.